Right, so uh, this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and uh, also a Virgo Rising, a weekly general tarot reading, April 20th to 26th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in the uh, private reading with me, checking out the description down below. I is a uh, gonna give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and as well um, if you want to start reading uh, tarot cards or you want to upgrade your knowledge uh, in the cards and you like the way I do it you want to learn to do it the same way I'm offering a uh, six weeks online tarot classes in which um, classes I'm going to explain you all of the major arcana how to use them to make a reading uh, in terms of career, in terms of relationship, uh, in a negative and in a positive way, in this, in a situation, I mean, um, and uh, how they start in generally in the positions uh, into the dedicated spread that I use for the purpose of the course. That is major arcana friendly, by the way. You can just use it only with major arcana, and it's a spread that I use all the time, even in my private reading. So it's a uh, bulletproof one. Anyway, so uh, that being said. Um, the hangman, it is going to be the card that represents the topic of your week, followed by the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic here. That is going to be the energy of the Knight of Wands, followed by the challenge of the Page of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the gift and the blessing of the Nine of Swords, and then it is the um, impression that people have into you uh, based on your behavior here throughout the week. That is to be the Tree of Wands. And the final one that we have is going to be the Five of Pentacles, which stands as the guidance the tower is offering. So it will be a challenging week. I don't want to lie to you, Virgo. It does look like that, um, well, with those, uh, with the first couple of cards that we do have, you are going to have very big momentum, okay? That, that is shown here with the energies. So you are going to be very enterprising in a sense of that you will simply want to kind of like incorporate yourself with the uh, many new things and not even new things. It's just you would like to have dynamic. This is what the energies are going to push you into. And... Um, so you are going to have that affinity to experiment throughout the week with different stuff, you know, with hobby or different projects, for example, a different way to consume your relationship, if you will, or in generally to have your life in a different way. Uh, that is well described here with the Knights of Wands. And another thing that those energies are going to um, gift you with, because it's a true gift, really, it's uh, the ability not to give up in a sense of that uh, the, the determination to bring the things to their very end. Um, and that will serve you a great purpose. Why? It is because we do have the hangman as a situation. So first of all, good thing about these cards is that they are a active enemies. And that means that the hangman is not going to be in its severe state over you. I mean, because hangman, it's a very difficult card to be overcome. It speaks for restrictions, delays, inability to move on forward and those kind of stuff. But because it's a um, enemy to the Knights of Wands, it means that um, in this particular case, that while the situation is not going to be that um, not productive, the, 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 the word is not productive, it's more like a favorable uh, throughout the week, that doesn't necessarily have to stop you of trying. And hangman happens so uh, the right moment and the right time came for everything that is lingering in the void of the future. What I mean is that every event that you are hoping to happen or you want to happen, it has its time and the hangman stands so you do not prematurely invest in it or you do not prematurely jump into it so you know you you can have its its fullness if you will and um, uh, with those energies of the knights of wands um, you will have the time throughout the week to try a try out a different methods just so you can see which one works for you and as soon as the uh, situation is set into stir once again because hangman is not for the for a, a lifetime it is just you know for a, a certain period which is the week so that week Yes, you will have the affinity to do many stuff. You will want those things to happen, although there are to be exterior influences as the hangman stands uh, that will not allow you to do so. But that doesn't mean that your hands are going to be completely tied. It is just you will have the um, opportunity here to think of the most efficient and best way how to do it. So, and like I said, uh, the ability not to give up, it will play a huge role for you because this is what it is required when we do have the hangman. Because the hangman is simultaneously a test and a breakthrough. 
because uh, it tests you to see the universe tests you to see how much you want it and therefore not giving up from it and then it's a breakthrough because for one or another reason your way of wanting it is going to change at the end you will want it for the right reasons if you don't at that particular point uh, then we go for the challenges that you will have to overcome that is to be uh, the page of pentacles so we do have a person and the only thing that uh, it's going to be challenging for you uh, and, and this person that you do have in between it is or uh, their uh, inability to stop in a sense of that they are uh, devoted to you and your agenda it could be your child you know it could be your beloved one and etc etc and as um as we said, as your uh, situations right now are not going to develop with the uh, extreme pace, that page will become increasingly nervous and, and, and hectic uh, because uh, they have a very strong sense of value. Okay, And when they see that uh, a certain uh, the, the intentions does not produce results, they start questioning the value right, of the thing that they are following, which is your thing here, because they are devoted to your agenda. So the, the, the page simply said, we'll try to talk you out of it, or we'll try to redirect your resources or your attention into something much more achievable at that stage. But what the page does not realize is here, that significant person of yours, it is that you do need that although like we said right now maybe you won't be able to push it through its time is going to come and so the page needs to be a little bit more patient just as patient as you are so just final notes here on this card that is to be a person who really have a well wishes for you i mean it really wishes you well but it is just they don't they will hate seeing you wasting yourself and that's why they are trying to breed sense into you by trying to motivate you to jump out of, you know, your um, your goal. Uh, however, like I said, they do not understand that that goal will manifest and just a time is needed for it. So uh, moving to the next one here, which is the uh, gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week, Virgo, that will be the uh, nine of swords. So with the Nine of Swords, that is the gift of lack of fear, at least at that particular week. Uh, it's more like addressing the, uh, the stagnation. I don't know how to name it the other way around with the hangman, all right? Because things are not moving uh, at all or with the pace you want. That is a stagnation, okay? And that kind of like plants a fear into one's soul. Because, for example, fear that your relationship isn't going on very well, your career isn't going on the way you want, you know, and etc., etc. But the, as a gifts and blessings, that is the realization that that fear does not have a soil. It does not have roots because you know things happen with their time for example you can't bake a cake for 30 minutes as the cake wants to be baked for 60 okay that is what the hangman represents and uh, you will be uh, completely in sync and aware you know that the thing needs its time and that's why your gift is going to be to overcome your fears of a lack of success lack of ability fears of being left alone into one's relation into one relationship fear of being fired into one career as well uh, and even if these things happen it will um how can i say it with with that card having it here it will just for its own good because uh, the card points that these consequences are happening for one's well-being and one is going to find either a better relationship or a better career afterwards because very important with the nine of swords it is a person to understand that fear it is what rots one's soul okay fear eats your soul and it's simply at the end only darkness remain into oneself so we become an empty shells and that's why instead of being afraid either do something about it or allow it to do something for itself at the end of the day. So moving next, uh, we do have uh, the impression that people are going to have in you. That excludes the page, though, for what it seems looking at this card. Because um, people will, will understand exactly where you are standing, okay? And especially with uh, in their eyes, it will look like you are waiting for something uh it's it's like waiting for your moment almost because in the people's eyes uh your goal or agenda or whatever you're striving for at that point 
it will look like a bit above your pay grade at a certain extent uh, at, at this time i'm sorry not at a certain extent but at this time i i um i wanted to say by a small margin okay you are almost ready for it but just not quite it's just it's like it you are missing something very small that will be otherwise detrimental to your success if you don't have it um and uh, uh what i'm trying to say here is that people will show understanding why you are not taking any significant actions towards fixing for example your relationship or uh, maintaining it you see you, you say oh, well i can't give a much of an example of it because the hangman signifies that whatever you try to do it's simply futile so you give up at the end and you allow it to develop on its own accord so people will understand that standpoint of yours that you just you know lift your hands and whatever happens happens until the moment that the control is given back to you so um that being said three of one's points that uh, people also are gonna have a huge respect in you because they will see uh, this exact trait of yours that you do not give up and that you either gonna have it the way your uh, expectations are or simply you ain't gonna have it at all uh, and or you won't you will not want to have it any way around just let me uh, muffle the sound of my computer uh, next one is going to be the uh, five of uh, pentacles and uh, that is the guidance so with the five of pentacles uh, points that you may feel insecure which is with within the gifts and the blessings that you will be able to overcome that insecurity but in order to overcome something it needs to be there all right so to be over overcame so that kind of a guidance it's not much of a guidance it's gonna come uh, uh naturally okay it's gonna come like a uh, uh like a, uh, an unfoldment that it is a uh, pure um how can i say it's a uh, perpetual following of, of what is happening but the other guidance of the five of pentacles it is that all of those things that you are worry over they are simply trifles all right they are not uh, problems that are so big that cannot be resolved and uh, once you gain back control whatever haven't been resolved because with the five of pentacles they are on many fronts but right now for what it seems you can't do much about it at least at that stage However, once you gain control once again over your life or over the situation, I would say, which will happen with the hangman, most of them are going to be resolved on their own accord. And whatever it's, uh, it's left there, it will be a piece of cake for you to resolve it. And one last guidance, it is that, you know, these times of where one has to wait, they are a bit uh, at times of stagnation and you don't have to go through those times alone. As a matter of fact, you do have a faithful companion here into the face of the page and it is just only you have to convince the page or convince both of you that the um, that the, that the, the sky is dark and they're going to be set into light again. And the only thing you got to do is just wait. I love that sentence for the hangman and I always re repeat it when the occasion appears. You just have to wait. So that being said, uh, Virgo, this was your weekly general tarot reading, um, April 20th to April 26th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, if you're interested in a private reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And uh, if you are interested into learning tarot cards and you like the way I do it, I'm offering an online uh, live six weeks tarot classes in which I'm going to explain you the major arcana and how they stand in terms of career and relationship, negative in a positive way, and in generally the spread I use for the course and for my private readings as well. That is also a, a major arcana friendly. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you're going to stay safe now and uh, see you next time. Until then, bye.